watching Sun TV, broadcasting to the world from studios in Providenciales, in the beautiful by nature Chips and Cake Designs. Sun TV, your source for real news as it happens. Garland and thanks for watching. The Leeward Marina has been the topic of controversy for some time now and one of the local tour operators here in the TCI weighed in on what he calls a continuous destruction of the marine environment. Leeward Marina is uh, a development that has been it's got sort of a long history on the islands but more recently in 2008 Leeward Marina in whatever entity it was called put in this dock system illegally at the time mm -hmm. and also started to dredge from the leeward point to the leeward cut also illegally inside the national park <clears throat> the consequence of that was a huge amount of sedimentation laying over the, the grace bay reef and the leeward reefs and essentially destroying and killing huge sections of it we're still seeing the aftermath of that dredging today and something that a lot of people aren't thinking about is that while the dredging took place four years ago a lot of fine sediment has been moved and that sediment sits in places that it wasn't before and every time we get a winter storm or any kind of weather the sediment is getting stirred up and spread over the reef in the past that sediment wouldn't have been stirred up the same way and certainly the fine sediment that the dredging brought up wouldn't be where it is now so the threat that, is, that, the, that the new maintenance project is proposing is to dredge inside the national park again to maintain uh, a depth here of 12 foot which is somewhat unrealistic because they would also have to do continual dredging over the next 5, 10, 15 years for as long as they want to keep this marina open. So it's not just a maintenance project for today, it's a maintenance project that has to keep happening year in year out as storms come and go and move sands off the beach and back into the channel that they want to keep open. So. If Princess Alexandra National Park is our flagship national park within the Turks and Caicos, it seems to me that the debate should be a national debate and not one that's just limited to a handful of people up in Leeward. Philip Scherer has been diving and enjoying the wonders of the sea from the age of 10, and he says that the illegal dredging that has already been done so far has negatively affected the reefs and mangroves in that area. Yeah, this is not a small amount of dredging that wants to take place. This, they want to dredge around this part. Mm -hmm. Now this is outside the national park, but if I was to take you for a little swim down at the bottom here, mm -hmm. that is pure mud. You start picking that up with a bulldozer or whatever, mm -hmm. that stuff's going to go out and it's going to sit on the reef. And that's what mm -hmm. we've got right now. You know how sand right. that you're used to on a beach and then it drops back down? Mm -hmm. It doesn't do that. When a storm comes, it gets kicked up and then it just sits there yeah. and it just goes all over the reef. So the corals are being choked and, you know, this is well documented as well worldwide. We're talking about how reefs are dying. With plans in hand, along with a letter from the development company, Shara says that due to the position of the prospective dredging location, the work will be continuous in order for the Leeward Marina to successfully achieve its 12-foot aim when it comes to docking yachts of 150 feet and over. In some areas, and they need to remove 5-foot worth of mm -hmm. sediment for, I don't know how many feet that is. It's a huge amount of sediment that needs to go. And the fact is, this will have to be repeated because yeah. that leeward point and the water that comes from this side uh -huh. pushes sand into the deepest parts and they will always do that. Yeah. So it's, it's not a one-off, this will have to be a continual uh -huh. dredging process and at the end of the day. I would say that if we let this go ahead without a proper investigation, okay. you know, from a monetary perspective, I would wager that these dive sites and these snorkel sites between the snorkel operators and the dive operators mm -hmm. will make more money than that marina. With almost one third of the TCI being protected by the government as national park areas, Shara thinks that TCIG can do a lot more to prevent what is happening and he has already called for them to do so. Yes, absolutely. We do that. I've done that right now. We're putting together, we're writing for this particular 
uh, project. We're putting writing into planning to express our concerns regarding the dreading. Uh, well, certainly, it's uh, difficult to tell at this moment in time because I don't think that uh, the application has gone before the board yet. It does seem to me that the the submission was made in September, and that there is some necessary or uh, expectancy that the application should be, as it were, made or be approved quickly. I think this should be a, a bit more of a drawn out process. There's a much wider range of discussions that should take place. It's not just because this marina wants to open in November or be ready in April next year that we should shoehorn this into a planning application and onto the planning board because somebody wants to open it. This, is, this has far wider consequences than just one particular business that wants to be ready for business. Girl Guide leader Gertrude Saunders Forbes is the 2012 recipient of CIBC First Caribbean's Unsung Heroes Initiative. Saunders Forbes was nominated by a family member who saw that her selfless contribution to not only the Girl Guides Association, but to the community at large had to be honored. The wife and mother of one was given $6,000 to contribute to the cause of her choice and received a little treat of her own. Saunders Forbes will be entered into the regional competition later this month as she competes with 21 other finalists from around the Caribbean later this year. That's our Sun TV News package for today, Wednesday, October 17th. Until next time when we bring you more real news as it happens, directly to your computer, your mobile phone, or your tablet. Until then, I'm in Leslie Garland, and thanks for watching.